Hi guys, Ida from Athlone Regional Sports Centre with you. Uh, just a few, just a short video to go through a couple of strength exercises that our older adults can do at home while they're away from the gym. They can just help maintain strength. So I have six exercises for you. Uh, two upper body, two lower body, and then two on the floor. So we're going to pair two exercises together. Um, and we're going to aim to do 10 to 12 repetitions of each exercise and then repeating two to three sets depending on how you get on. So our first exercise is a squat. We're going to use a chair to help us squat properly. So you're going to stand in front of your chair, feet shoulder width apart or a little bit more, and then you're going to sit back with your hips, like literally like you're sitting back onto the chair. So drop your hips back. If you can, you're going to sit all the way down onto the chair or just lightly touch off the top of it. Now I'm standing in front of a table because some of you might need a table or a countertop just to balance against. So if you need it, you can lightly touch down on the table or on the counter and use it for assistance getting up again. You're trying to keep your knees out over your toes, trying to avoid your knees caving in. If it gets too easy with the chair then, you can take the chair out of the way um, and literally just do a body weight squat without the assistance of the chair. Okay, we're going to pair that with a wall press. So our wall press is going to work the muscles on our chest, our shoulder and the back of our arm, keeping our upper body strong for pushing movements. Okay, so uh, you're going to use the wall, hands a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You're going to step maybe two feet, three feet away from the wall. Try to keep your shoulders back and down so that you're getting your back into a nice strong position and keep your core muscles pulled in. And then you're going to lever your body towards the wall and back out again. Okay, if that's too difficult, just shuffle your feet a little bit closer to the wall, keeping that body nice and straight. Or if you want to make it more difficult, step back a little bit further so you have a bigger range of movement. And you're going for the same idea. Okay, so that's going to work your chest. So you're going to pair your squats with your wall press, go back and do your squats again and then another wall press, two to three times. Then we're going to move on to some lunges. Um, so a lunge, we're going to again use the chair for a little bit of assistance for balance. Nice wide steps, so you're in a split stance. You can just pop your fingertips down onto the top of the chair for a little bit of balance. And now you're going to lower your back knee down towards the ground and back up again. Try to keep your chest nice and tall. It's a straight drop down to the floor, toes pointing forward. Okay. And then we're going to squat legs. So same idea. If you struggle with your knees, if you have knee problems, you can just reduce the range of movement. So instead of dropping all the way down, you can just reduce it to a half a lunge. If it still causes problems for your knees, you could work in a step up instead. So if you have a stairs at home, you can use the bottom step on the stairs and actually step up and step down off the step. And that will do the same work on the lower body. Okay, so the other upper body exercise we have is for our back. It's a rowing movement called a one arm row. And we're going to use a water bottle for this exercise. So you can use your um, table or your chair for a little bit of support on this one. It's a split stance. So the hand that has the water bottle, I'm going to drop the leg on the same side, hinge over, and now we're going to row up with our water bottle. So you're drawing your elbow up towards the ceiling, trying to keep it in nice and snug to your side, brushing past your ribs and back down again. Swapping legs. When you're swapping arms, row up, slowly back down. And again, you want to be nice and slow and controlled with all of these movements. Nice, slow, steady pace makes it more effective. Okay, so you're going to pair your lunges then with your one arm row. Go back and lunge again and one arm row two to three sets. Our last two exercises then are down on the mat. First one is a bridge. So you're going to take a seat, feet your shoulder width apart, keep your head and shoulders on the ground and arms down by your side. Now my feet are just yet yeah, hip width apart and what you're going to do then is lift your hips up off the ground, squeezing your glutes, which are your hip muscles. You're working your hamstrings as well. Slowly back down. So we're going to lift up and hold for two to three seconds and then lower back down again. Trying to keep those hips nice and flat, legs are parallel. Okay, so that's the bridge. We're gonna pair that with the Superman. 
which is a nice exercise for your lower back. Okay, so you're going to drop down onto your hands and knees. I'm going to bring my left arm out in front, my right leg back. Uh, the right arm is under my shoulder, so nice and square under my shoulder. And I'm going to balance. So you can hold this for 5, 10, 20 seconds, whatever you can manage. And then we're going to swap over. Right arm, left leg. Just make sure that you're using the same, um, the opposite arm, the opposite leg. Okay, and you can repeat that two to three times as well. So that's the six exercises. Um, it's a full body workout. And I'd recommend that you do this, ex this workout two to three times a week, um, giving yourself a day in between to rest. Okay, thanks.